Hello and welcome to Aeronautics Academy. Today we're going to be doing the Star Citizen equivalent of a track walk. Those unfamiliar with a track walk, basically what it is, in a Grand Prix, the day before the actual practice, the drivers, engineers, and strategists walk around the track to take a close look at all the curbs, the runoff areas, the track itself. So we can't exactly walk around the track here in Star Citizen because it's, you know, huge, but what we can do is go around the track in our ship and get a good sense of where we want to be going and what we want to be doing. So I did make a video for Rickards Memorial here. Uh, we are just going to pretend that I did not and that it's my first time around this track. So one more thing, in practice races, if you didn't know, if you mess up, say you crash on the second or third gate, if you go back to the start, as soon as you cross the finish line again, going in the proper direction of the race, the lap itself will reset. So here you can see I'm five minutes into this lap. Cross the line. The lap resets. Okay, so onto the track walk. So we go to the first gate here, call it the first turn. We can see that our next target is right over there, up and to the left. So we're going to take this corner pretty quickly. Um, however, it is behind this pod here. So, what are we going to do? Well, we can go over it, or we can go around it. Obviously, it's going to be quicker to go over it than it will be to go on either side of it, and obviously underneath it. So, that's what we'll do. We'll go through here. We'll just ride on through to the next gate, over top of this pod, taking a look for any other obstacles, which there isn't. Okay, so the next gate's over there. Coming through at this angle here. So we're probably going to carry some momentum through. Yeah, we're going to want to aim in here. Avoiding this thing and the tower itself. The track itself will take a long sweep around. Um, that's not going to be quick. So we're going to definitely want to go through here. So on our way through, just sort of take a look at the other stuff. There's a pod and an apartment here. It's over top of them. Nice and easy. We're probably going to want to stick to the bottom of this gate so that we can turn early and shoot through as quick as possible. So for this gate, the next checkpoint's over there. Looks like it's behind these buildings. Um, 2.4 kilometers. Could even be behind that big tower. So let's go take a look here. Yeah, definitely behind the tower. So, looks like the course is pretty flat through this section. See that, that looks like the next gate right there. So, if we keep on the pre-marked course, we'll be in line for that. Let's see what the quickest way shows us. So it looks like there's a hole here we can make it through. Might be able to make it through some of this stuff here. This is the only other opening that I can see. We'll see if that works out. Otherwise, the quickest way would be to s hug this wall area right here. Okay. Well, that looks big enough to fit an M50 through. Wonder if it's big enough for a 350R. You'd have to test that out. Um, so yeah, that looks like it's going to be the quickest way. Let's just head slowly through there. Let's take a look at this here. What else can we see? Well, this sticks out. That sticks out. You're going to want to miss that. It's actually a pretty big opening here. Just a little right turn there. And it'll be perfect. So this gate here. Looks like we want to be a little bit tighter than that. 
looks like the quickest way. The course will have us go on the outside here. Now if we did that, the quickest way would just be sticking to the inside of those apartments. Okay, so just gonna head on through this checkpoint here, and that'll be all I'm covering for this. I'm just gonna go back to the start now and head through the checkpoints at full speed and see if what I thought would be the fastest way was actually the fastest way. All right, full speed using afterburners. We set the lap. Right there. There we go. It's like 38 seconds. So I'm just going to do it again. See if I can improve on the time. the checkpoint here just a little bit less than 38 seconds so maybe just a little bit quicker uh, but it's good to have the same times if you have in the same times then you know you're consistent so that's how I learn a track for the first time um, you know even for the 100th time you know get out there see if you can find a quicker way around you know, start from the further checkpoint and, and work backwards um, practice practice at half speed practice at full speed and you are gonna crash you know, everybody crashes. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know too. Other than that, uh, see you in the verse.